Hey guys, today I thought I would share an updated look at what's in my diaper bag because the last time I did one of these, Charlotte was my only child and she was a wee little one and things have changed and she is now almost two and a half going on soon. In a, well, in a couple months she'll be two and a half and I have a three month old. So I have two kids. I have upgraded my diaper bag situation to accommodate um, two, two little ones and uh, I thought I'd share with you. This was a bag Well, I'll first I'll show you the bag. Okay, it's by freshly picked they make really cute baby moccasins Which I love and um, I'm on their like email newsletter list. So I think it was last summer I got an email about a Kickstarter. They were doing um, launching these diaper bags and I thought, yes, that looks exactly like something I want. Really nice looking, pretty sleek, and you know, not pleasant to look at, but very basic. Um, backpack style, lots of pockets. Um, I thought, yes, I want to do that. So I, you know, um, bought in, I guess, to the Kickstarter, which so you got the bag on a great discount. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. And then it came in November. I think that's when they started sending them. And I started using it after Donnie was born. Then basically I started using it in February and I've been using it for the past three months and I love it. It is great. First of all, I think it is a really nice looking diaper bag. It's um, a faux leather. I think it's like a vegan leather. Um, it's really, really nice. It looks real. It has a nice texture to it. It doesn't feel plasticky. It feels really nice and it's been wearing really well. It's got lots of pockets. Lots of great organization, but not like too many. Do you know, sometimes it's just like too much built-in organization and you're like, I wanna be able to do a little bit more in the bag. Um, I like that they let the bag have its own kind of space. I have my pack to the gills. Like this is a fully packed diaper bag. I don't carry with this, me, this with me everywhere, to be honest. Um, I usually take it when I'm going to somebody's house. Like when I need to be in somewhere with both kids for a while, or we're out for a while, then I'll take it. Um, but because I've got stuff in my car for both kids, I've got change of clothes for both kids in the car, diapers for Donnie, toys and books and all that jazz in the car. Um, so I don't feel like I need to carry this around with me everywhere, but I do take it most of the time. Um, and it is very comfortable to wear, but I do have it packed really full. So it's, you know, it's like, it's like a big day bag, I would say. Um, just on the external part, you can make it into more of like a, different style bag I think because the um, straps have like these really nice lobster claw hooks on them but I don't wear it that way. I like that they do have the stroller um, hooks um, sewed right in. I don't actually hang my bag on my stroller ever because I prefer a backpack style. I just keep it on my back. Um, it's just comfortable that way. There's a front small zip pocket. I have a, I'll hold this up so you guys can see it. I have a little pin from um, Bibbidi Bobby book there. There it is. A little cute Minnie Mouse ears pin. Um, it has two very generously side, sized side pockets that you could fit a really big water bottle in. But I will say that when you have the bag as packed as I do on the inside, you can't fit a lot in the in the side pockets because the interior contents kind of push out the sides of the bag. But I do like to keep my phone uh, tucked into one pocket. Um, let's see, like so, for easy access when I'm um, out and about on the go. It makes it just really easy to grab it. Um, on the other side, I'll just show you, I have a hand sanitizer spray from Honest Company. I don't, I honestly don't use that re rarely at all. I'm, I'm like kind of weird about sanitizer, hand sanitizer. I'd much rather like wash my hands or my kids' hands. Uh, but it's just in a pinch. And then the back has this um, really generous slip pocket and that's mainly where I keep my wallet. Same wallet I've had for several years now. It was a birthday gift from Don one year. And looks like I have some jelly beans from a donation I made. Um, so there's that. I don't actually want to eat those, but I have them in my back because it was the, something they gave me for making a donation. I keep my car keys clipped on the side of my bag. Um, just for easy access. Of course, I can always pop my keys easily into my bag if I feel like I am not feeling comfortable having them hanging on my bag wherever I am, but 
most of the time I don't have that issue. Um, I do have like a keyless ignition car, so I don't have to have the, there's actually no actual key, so there's nothing that can like scratch anything. Um, but um, it's just easier for me and I have it hanging down on my right side so I can reach back, I can be holding one kid and you know, even pushing a cart and reach back and just open my car, or pop the trunk or whatever. So that's really convenient. Um, and then the inside, there's this big flap on the front and then that has a magnetic closure. And the bag is very boxy when opened, um, like so you can see. Um, the sides tuck in, they do have snaps. I keep them unsnapped because I just find them really annoying to snap on and off, but it, they do tuck in nicely without a lot of effort. Uh, and I could pack more into this bag, and when, depending on where we're going, I do throw in like an additional blanket or a coat or whatever on top. But this is what I have like basically in it all of the time. Um, whoa. So um, maybe I'll do like an overhead shot and just overlay in so you guys can see the organization of the bag. You guys know I love my pouches and my vertical organization, so that's, that's what I'm doing here. Um, but it's a really nice zipper. It's got this tassel doohickey, and this bit on the end actually makes it really easy to zip and unzip. And the interior has one, two, three, four elasticized um, slip pockets, you know, that expand quite a bit and a um, large slip pocket in the back and a smaller zip pocket in the back. So uh, that's the large slip pocket and that's the little zip pocket. Um, so that's the basic structure of the bag. I find it really holds a lot. I find it really works for me very well and I really do enjoy it. And I love this light kind of dove gray. I just think it's so pretty. It goes with any season, it goes with any outfit. I've been really into gray like accessories lately. <laughs> Um, I just bought myself a new pair of gray sneakers, so i um, really enjoying this color. Uh, so I will take you through what I keep in it now. I keep it, like I said, I have it packed to the gills, but this is kind of like anything I could possibly need, for real. So in the front zip pocket here, I just keep kind of quick grab items that I might need for mostly the kids. I have boogie wipes. These are essential. Kleenex, also essential. <laughs> Um, I have a pair of my favorite little baby sunglasses. These are by Rochambeau. Um, these kind of still fit Charlotte. They're probably a little bit too small. They will definitely fit Donnie. These are kind of um, gender neutral, I would say, because they're just black and white. Um, so either kid could wear those. Um, neither of my kids are really into sunglasses. Um, Donnie's just so little. I don't think, you know, there just hasn't been occasion to really put him in them yet. But now that it's really sunny and warm and we're outside more, I'll probably be popping those on him more and I can probably get CC. They make like a toddler version, so I'll probably buy her a toddler version at some point. I have a little Think Baby sunscreen stick. This is my favorite sunscreen um, for myself and my kids. And this is SPF 530. It's a mineral sunscreen, physical sunscreen. And then I have one of these little toddy gear um, pocket cleansing wipes so this you can like clean your devices with or your phone or whatever works great and then um, I have my favorite lip balm by um, Smith is it Smith Smith's yes Smith's there it is so that's everything I keep in the little zip pocket in the front in the bag itself, in the little um, back zip pocket, I've got a pad, I've got a pen, I've got some Aquaphor. Don't use this very often, but kind of like to have it handy in a pinch. I've got my house keys. I'm not going to pull all this little stuff out. Um, and a dog bag, like a poopy bag. So that's everything that I have in the zip pocket, and that's a great place to pop my wallet if I feel like I want it in the bag or my keys or whatever. The big slip pocket in the back, which actually does have a magnetic closure, and this bag came with its own changing pad that fits really well in there, but I prefer to have my diaper clutch by JJ Cole. You can get this on Amazon. One of the best things, my like one of my newborn and just baby general must-haves. Um, Cause you can just, I can just grab this out of my bag and it has everything I need. I've got diapers, I've got wipes, I've got, you know, the whole changing pad situation is just so handy. So I love that. And then I also have one of these dry wet bags by Bumpkins. I love their Disney line. You'll see I have a lot of Bumpkins bags. I find them really, really handy. Um, so I have that in the 
in that pocket too, just for easy access in the case that I have soil or wet clothing that I need to transport home. It keeps it nice and compact and you can throw that bag and all the contents right into the washing machine and the dryer. Okay, on one of the side pockets, I have my walking pharmacy. I did a blog post on this maybe last year, I think. I will link that for you guys if you wanna see what's in there. Haven't changed the contents in a long time. Honestly, I very rarely use any of this stuff out of here. This is kind of like what I might need in a pinch. Um, I like having it on hand because there's several times, you know, every once in a while that I need it, I really am glad that I have it. I feel like I could probably pare it down a little bit because I honestly, I don't use it that much. Um, but that's my kind of like my stuff. The rest of the stuff is baby stuff <laughs> and toddler stuff. On the other side of the bag, and those those elasticized pouches would be great for diapers or bottles or whatever. I just don't, I keep my diapers in my diaper clutch and I don't carry any bottles around with me at the moment. I have a couple of my favorite um, burp cloths. These are by Aiden and NNA. Um, these are my favorite ones because they kind of curve. Donnie loves the texture and the feel of muslin, so he really likes to hold on to these. So they actually make a good kind of like soothy toy thing for him right now. He's three month age. And I always take two because he is a, he's a happy spitter. He spits up a lot and he's just started drooling quite a bit, so those come in handy. Um, and then the front two interior um, pouchy pockets. The one I have kind of dedicated to CC, I have a toilet seat cover. This is the kind that, oh, I think Donnie's waking up. I might have to go upstairs in a second. This is kind of like drapes over the whole toilet. So you don't have to worry about your kid like, you know how toddlers just touch every part of the toilet and when you're in like an icky public toilet, you're like, mm, please don't do that. Um, I will link these, get them on Amazon. They're really handy. And these I've talked about before, they are still going strong. They're all facing the wrong way. These are the little, um, the little people version of Mickey Mouse and Friends. You can buy them in a set. I can get them at Target. I think they're like 15 or 20 bucks. Totally worth it. She has adored them for over a year. And they were a gift from a subscriber. So thank you so much for sending these because she has loved them. She asks for them anytime we're out at a restaurant um, and they just entertain her so well. So that's Charlotte's little pocket there. On the other little pouch, I have a similar size. And these are, these are bumpkins bags too with the clear front, which I like a lot because not only do they keep things contained, but you can see what's in them. So I have a little toy bag for Donnie. Uh, I have a couple of finger puppets just to entertain him in this little wooden thing. Um, and I could probably throw a couple other things in there. He, you know, he's been a newborn for the so far, and so he hasn't really needed a lot of like entertainment stuff, but I'll probably throw in a couple more things for him at some point. And then my favorite on the go wipes are these water wipes. Um, and I use these, on Charlotte, I use them on Donnie to clean faces and hands and wipe things down. I find they're the best travel wipes. Water wipes are great, but I don't like the the full pack of them. I feel like they just don't come out of the package very well. They come out in huge clumps, but for whatever reason, the travel versions come out beautifully in just one wipe and they're perfect. So I love, love, love those to have on the go. And I have another package of those in my um, diaper clutch. I should probably just show you guys, just in case you're like, what is that one? Here it is, diaper clutch, everything that you need. I've got wipes, I've, got, I've only got two diapers in there right now. Um, I think I have a little container, yeah, a little of my um, coconut oil concoction, just in case we need a little barrier cream for Donnie. That's what's in there. So I always have wipes on me. Even if I run out of wipes in one area, I always have one in the other. And then I have backup wipes in the car because you guys don't go anywhere without your wipes. Okay, so now we're into the main compartment of stuff. I have this little art and arts and crafts pack um, for Charlotte that I've had in my diaper bag. I had when I just had a smaller leather purse that I was using, like a leather backpack purse. I have a couple sheets of paper with stickers in them. Um, show you just some cards it's actually some cardstock with some sticker sheets because she just likes sticking stickers on things or she can color on those pages i've got some extra crayons sometimes you go to a restaurant and they don't have crayons and you're like really and they'll even have like a kids menu they can draw on but they don't have crayons um does not compute i really like these these are great you can get these at michael's or target they're a dollar they come with a little um coloring book and some crayons and some stickers. 
Um, so these are kind of great. I always have one of these in my bag. And then I just have a couple of extra sheets of stickers that we got at Disney World. Because, you know, sometimes you just need a little sticker distraction when you're having a sad moment. Okay, and lastly, <clears throat> the rest of the bag I have organized into four pouches. So three of these bumpkin pouches with the clear front. Um, and these come in sets. So we have the Little Mermaids ones are CC's, and the ones with the little fire trucks and Dalmatians on them are Donnie's. I wish they had like a Mickey Mouse one, but they don't. So in one I have a muslin blanket, and this is by um, Modern Burlap is the company. Um, so this is just my blanket to have in my bag. It's great as a impromptu nursing cover if I feel like I need a little extra, you know, covering when I'm out with him. This just stays in my bag. Um, you can use it in a pinch for like spit ups and stuff if I go through all of the burp cloths. Uh, or I can use it as a blanket. And I really love this because it has the little Mickey hat design on it. And I like keeping a muslin blanket in my bag, um, like a swaddle blanket, all of the time because it is thin and light and does not bulky, right? Uh, you know, it has been winter for the past few months now. We're finally, fortunately, in spring. So I don't feel like I need a warmer blanket for him. But up until this point, I've been popping in different, like, weight weights of blankets depending on where we're going how long we're going to be out how cold it is just to have on top of my bag um on like an individual basis so if i'm running out the door with him and i'm like oh it's a little extra chilly let's chuck an extra blanket in there then i will but i like to have that one in there all the time and i like to keep it in its own pouch because it keeps it nice and neat and just contained and easy for me to locate and doesn't get like tangled up in anything then I have um, pouches for the kids' clothes. So for Donnie, I have a complete change of clothes for Donnie. Um, I like these little sets from Carter's that come with a short sleeve bodysuit, a pair of pants, and then a long sleeve pullover like top. Um, so I have one of those in there, and they're pretty inexpensive, Carter's stuff is. Those are great for on the go because it can work with a different, you know, variation. Um, a variety of climates, I could say. Uh, if it's chilly out, I've got all the layers he needs, really. And if it's not, we can just do the, the bodysuit. If that gets soiled, even, he could just wear the pants and the top. So it work, you know, works out. I also have a little pair of socks in there for him, an extra bib. He's not really wearing bibs yet, but I have one in here just in case. I feel like we're entering the, the um, drool phase very quickly. Um, so I have that in there and then I have a little hat um, just in case, like I said, it's chilly and he needs it. And I have one for Cece too. And this just has an extra pair of pants and an extra pair of underpants, which is all, oh, and also a pull-up. Just, I just always like to have a pull-up with me just in case, even though she's basically potty trained, I like to have that just in case. You never know when you're really gonna need something like that. And she wears pull-ups at night still, so you know, in, ca in the case that we get stuck out somewhere and I wanna get her kind of ready for bed out when we're out, I mean, this doesn't ever really happen, but these are the things I think about when I'm packing my bag for bed. Um, I just like to have my bases covered. And then the last pouch, and yep, the last thing in my bag is this one, and this is by Art of Lunch. I think I bought this on Amazon some time ago. It's a little bit sturdier of a bag. Um, I just, I don't know, it was the right size for the snacks, so that's why I'm using it. This is where I keep food for basically snacks for CC and a couple of things for me. I don't go anywhere without goldfish for her. Like, it's like the number one snack for her. And so I always have those. I have a little package of bunny gummies, although I don't even know if she likes those. And I have a little package of animal crackers. And I don't even know if she likes those. She's very, very particular about snacks. And then I have a couple of snacks that are mommy friendly at the moment. Um, I have a that's it bar that's just dried fruit basically. And then I have an RX bar that's just egg whites, peanuts, dates. That's all that's in there. Um, so that's, um, you know, approved on my current my current eating plan. I don't like those bars that much, but if I was starving and out and kind of stuck, at least I would have it. I really like the lat fit bars. They're, you know, they're basically just like dried fruit. So um, they're really yummy. And that, you guys, that's everything. That's everything in my bag. I really love this bag. It has been just so great. It's been really 
easy to pack for both kids in it and um, I feel like it wears well. It's comfortable to wear even though I've got a lot in there obviously. I like that because of its shape I can fit quite a bit on top of my like standard stuff that always stays in there like jackets from CC or you know extra blanket for Donnie or if I need to throw in everybody's loveys or you know whatever. Everything fits in there really nice. Um, and I've actually gotten several compliments on it and I think that's saying something for a diaper bag because, I don't know, I feel like people don't often compliment diaper bags. Uh, but anyway, when I was signing up for this Kickstarter and it was such a good deal, I was like, I have a feeling I'm going to really like this bag. So I bought a couple to give away. And here they are. I have two brand new ones, never been used. This sort of, um, it's like a tan, light brown tan, really beautiful, and a black one. To give away to two of you, it's going to be one of my standard giveaways, open internationally. It will run for one week, uh, at which point uh, winners will be selected randomly and I will email them directly. Um, so that is that. You can um, click the link below to enter the giveaway if you're interested in winning one of these gorgeous bags. I can't say enough great things about them. Absolutely love them. And they've since um, released other colors too. They have a really beautiful blue, which I probably would have gone for had it been out when I bought, you know, when I originally bought the bags. Um, but I'm glad I got the gray. It's really beautiful. Um, and yeah, that's what's in my diaper bag right now. So I hope this was interesting to you. I always find it so fun to take a peek inside people's bags, especially diaper bags. <laughs> it's just fascinating to see what people um, carry around for their kids. And um, I hope you're all well. I will see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.